when I read about the fourth area, that the uh, seed or the word of God that's sown according to the story of the parable that Jesus gave us in Mark chapter 4. It reminds me of a, of a time when uh, I was uh, out in California and listened to speakers. And the speaker that was talking, he was, uh, had written a book about uh, starting well in our, in our life and our journey. And then I, I left that conference and flew back to Florida, and it was supposed to be at a men's retreat, but I got there in the middle of the retreat instead of the beginning because I was at that other conference. But uh, the speaker at the conference in Florida, his topic was finishing well. <laughs> and I thought, well, Lord, you want to make sure I got the whole balance here. Well, the thing about it is in this uh, uh Parable in the third way that he describes the seed and where it falls, he talks about sown among among the thorns, and this talks about the word. It, it said it takes root, and it begins to go forth. That's the words that the scripture uses. It begins to go forth, but then it's choked out, and it's choked out by the cares of the world. And that's his description. He says, it's choked out by the cares of the world, the deceitfulness of riches, and the lust of other things. So I look at this and I go, well, they hear it. And so now they've, they've begun to activate their faith and they're trying to learn to walk in faith. But at the same time, there's life going on. And life has a way of, of encroaching on us. And sometimes we find ourselves concerned about issues in our lives. And we do, well, we do, we worry. And the worry causes us to lose our joy because we're focused upon the things instead of focused upon who Christ is and the, and the reliance that we have upon the Holy Spirit who will lead us and guide us and help us in this journey. We find ourselves focused upon the pressures of life. We begin to worry about it. We begin to allow it to stress us. And I find it interesting when he talks about the deceitful riches. And I think that a lot of times when you read that, you're, you're thinking about people who are, are rich and then the money turns their head. And I say, well, that's possible. But I also think it's this. I think it's people who are worried about money. And you're worried about where the next paycheck's going to come from or where the next meal's going to come from. And, and, the, and the whole thing, oh, if only I could make some money, I could cure all of my problems. And we know that's not always true because there are people who won millions of dollars in some of these lotteries and still end up bankrupt. So we know that riches isn't the cure, but oh, how often we do think it is. And then that leads to the lust of other things. And I say it this way. You're taking your eye off the prize. And the prize is the high calling of Christ Jesus. Eternal life forever with God. We take our eye off the prize and we get our eyes down here. It's very easy to lose your way. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.